hey guys welcome to our youtube channel today i will show you how you can use shared preferences in your flutter app so for those who are the beginners and uh, doesn't know what is uh, shared preferences let me tell you quickly it is a, a mechanism or a method using that we can save a few small data locally in your app suppose uh, you are taking username and uh, you want to save the username in the local memory so that whenever you uh, restart the app or whenever user kills the app and after starting it again you want to uh, access the username again so that uh, no need to ask from the user now you can do this from using the shared preferences once you take the username from the user and um, you can save it in a local memory so that uh, whenever you want in the future you can use the same name no need to ask the user again and again so that's that is the one of the use of shared preferences and uh, in my blog i have also written another use case if you are interested you can go through it so let's get started with the tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how you can save the integer value in the shared preferences and to demonstrate this uh, we will be designing a simple flutter app and that app will have one uh, minus button one plus button and one uh, label which will show the integer value and by default this value will be zero and once you click on the plus button it will increase the integer value by one and same for the minus whenever you click the minus it will decrease the integer value by one suppose uh, uh, the value is five year and uh, if you are restarting the app again it will show you 5 because the value will be coming from the shared preferences from the local saved memory so let's see how we can implement this type of uh, feature using the shared preferences I have created a new flutter app and uh, if you want you can use your existing flutter app if you have any and uh, in order to use shared preferences first we need to download the plugin and to download the plugin I have given the link here so this is the a plugin link you can check in my blog and if you open the link you will get shared preferences 0.5.12 because this is the latest one so let's uh, copy this dependency from the official page and copy it now we have to go in the pub spec file so here it is and uh, we have to paste it here after doing this you have to click on the pub get so that it will download the latest library from the server and here we are getting the error let's see this error is for what okay my bad here we have to give the shared preferences now again to the pub get and wait for the download process okay so the download is done now we have the shared preferences library in our project to check that to confirm that we can uh, do this import so this import we have to do in every file wherever we want to use the shared preferences so i have imported this library here and you can see this is not giving error this is a grayed out because we are not using it anywhere in the project so let's move ahead with the another part now uh, first we will create the ui and ui is not much complicated we will just uh, create this uh, type of UI which will have only three elements one will be the button the another will be the simple text view and under another will be again button so let's see let's quickly implement this and after that we will see how to implement the shared preference logic let's start with the UI now we don't want this uh, column because we can go with the row instead now let's give some children here we can give rest button and here we have to give what will happen when we you click the button that is done here we can give the child to this rest button and it can be a text widget and here we can give the minus symbol okay so it is coming 
similarly let's give the another one for the plus button here and make it plus so we have the two buttons now and to display the integer value we can take the another text widget and here we can display the integer so for that first uh, declare an integer variable here where integer and assign a default value and that is zero now we can display the integer value directly using the variable and the variable is integer okay so it is uh, giving the error because the spelling was wrong okay uh, the error is because of wrong way of declaration we need to declare the integer here not there so that was the error you should not do this type of error guys be careful now we got all the elements and still we have error and that error is because we can't convert the uh, string uh, I mean we can't give the integer value here it uh, should be the string value so we can convert this integer to string like this now we should go to go and here you can see we are getting the elements to make it uh, look more beautiful we can change the main axis alignment of the row by doing this and we can give the center one now it is coming in the center and the last part here give some padding to the text and uh, let's make it 21 let's not focus more on the ui part because our main focus is on the shared preference logic okay so the ui is done now let's uh, put what will happen when the user will click on the minus and what will happen when the user will click on the plus so basically when the user will click on the plus we have to increase the uh, this value integer value by one and we have to save the new updated value to the shared preferences and uh, again the same for the minus button so for that let's uh, create a two function one function will write the integer data in the local memory and one function will uh, retrieve the data from the memory so one is to write and one is to get guys i have written a two function here the first one is to get the integer value from the local memory and the second one is the to save the integer value in the local memory so let me explain you each function one by one so in the get integer from the local memory function we have to pass the integer uh, we have to pass the key and this key will be the type of string this key value it plays a unique role uh, because we have to use the same key value to save and to get the data from the local memory and uh, I, I will explain you this part later while using the shared memory and uh, before that let me explain you this thing here we we need to create uh, the object for the shared preferences and that we can do like this so we have to call the await and then shared preferences dot get instance this will return the object for the shared preferences and the object we are saving it here in the pref in the pref variable now we have one method get int and in that method we pass the key and if there is a value corresponding to that key in the local memory then it will return the integer value and if not it will return the zero by default and now we have the number which uh, we we are getting from the local memory and we are returning this to the user now similarly we have uh, 
return a function to save the integer in the local memory and again here I have created the object for the shared preferences class and uh, in and we have here a method set int which will set a value and here we have to pass the key and the value which we want to save so this is the pretty much about the shared preferences for the integer type and let's see how to use these two functions while uh, clicking the, the plus and minus button now since we have both the functions ready so let's uh, implement the feature now let's start with the uh, plus button first so now what will happen when the user will click the plus button we have to increase the number by one right the integer value by one so let's do it first so that is done now we have to save this updated value back to the shared memory local memory or persistent memory so for that we can use our function which is this one save integer save int in local memory for that let's uh, do it quickly and for that we have to call save in the local memory and here we have we need to pass the key and the key will be uh, you can give anything uh, let's give the capital integer but we remember you have to use this key everywhere now and the value will be the integer so uh, whenever the user will click the plus button it will increase the integer value and it will save the updated value back to the local memory but here uh, uh, we have to do the set state so that it will update the UI also if you if you will not use the set state method then it will update the integer value but it, it is not going to reflect in the UI part in the UI now it's done so we can quickly run and check it Okay, while clicking on the plus button, the number is getting increased. So simply we can do for the minus button. So let's do this as well. Here we have to decrease the integer by one. And again, we have to save the updated value to the local memory. Okay, so let's quickly check this as well okay so you can see both buttons are working perfectly now once uh, now the integer value is showing six but when you restart the app it will show you zero because because at the time of uh, starting the app we are not setting anything so for that we have to implement the init method so that we can set the integer value while uh, starting the app so here it is and in the end state we need to get the uh, what uh, integer value from the memory and then we have to update it so for that again here we have to pass the same key which is our integer and here let's update the integer value to the value now we are good to go let's run our app and check okay here no need to give the colon and here we have to give the colon now if we run our app we should be able to save our integer data into the shared preferences memory so to check that let's make it 8 and uh, rerun the app so you can see again it is coming 8 so we are able to save the data in the memory so that's all guys from the shared preferences point of view and i hope you like the video please subscribe the channel thanks for watching